Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these Hicho style seed beads earrings. If you want more content like this, please subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also like, share and comment to give me signals to make more and more videos. Check description for useful resources, full list of materials. A Facebook page to share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials and you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the membership comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using for this video are four colors of 11 ounce seed beads white, purple, pink and turquoise. Here I'm also using earring findings. This is Nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. It will work with size 12 or 10 as well. And here I'm using scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up 12 purple beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I make it the familiar way by going twice through the loop that I have here and after that I pull gently. Okay, this is what I have and now what I want to do is one more knot. just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Now in my next step guys, I want to go through some beads in this direction. And I'm pulling. Then I take three pink beads and I go back in circle through this purple bead. Then what I want to do is go through two purple beads in this direction, just like this. Take three pink beads again. Go back through this one and through the following two. Three beads again. And go back through this and just to save time also go through the following two. So I'm going through three in total. Okay guys, and here is the last step that I do from this row. Then what I want to do is exit through one of those pink beads that are sticking out the most. So I go in this direction through this pink and then through this one that is sticking out. Then I take a turquoise, a purple and a turquoise and I go in the next one that is sticking out. Okay, now this row is ready and what I'm going to do next guys is go through the following turquoise, purple turquoise and I'm exiting here next after this turquoise which is next to the pink one. 
and I take three turquoise beads. I skip the pink one and I go through the following three turquoise, purple and turquoise. I repeat this again. Exiting through one of the turquoise, I'm going through the other one and then through the purple and the next turquoise. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, so now I have this. Now what I want to do is go through two turquoise beads in this direction. Exiting next to this one that is sticking out the most. And I need a pink, three whites and a pink. I skip here the one that is sticking out. And I go through the following. Then I take a white, a purple and a white and I go through the second turquoise counting from the center. A pink, three whites and a pink. I skip here the central one and I go through the following. And I take a white, a purple and a white. Go in the second turquoise. Pink, three whites, pink. Skip here the center and go through the next one. White, purple, white go in the second turquoise that's on my way pink three whites and a pink and go through the next one after the one that is sticking out the most or the middle one okay and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row And here at my last step guys, I'm going again through the second turquoise bead counting from the center as I did before. Now what I want to do is go through the pink and through the white one, just like this. And I take five white beads and I skip here the central one and I go through the following. Take three white beads and I go here through the purple one that's in the middle. Three whites again and go in the first of those three whites that I have on my way. Five white beads, skip the central one and go through the following three white beads 
three white beads go here in the purple one three white go in the first of those three whites that are on my way five white beads skip the central one and go through the following three white go in the middle purple one three white go in the first white one And I will continue these guys the same way, 5, 3, 3, 5, 3, 3, and I'll meet you here at this point. And uh, if you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video from here and repeat it until the end. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And don't worry that now it looks like this and it's bending because we'll fix it later. Okay, so now what I do is that I go through these two white beads. I take five whites. I skip here the central one and I go through the following. This is what I have now. Then I take three white beads and I go here through the middle of those three whites that I have on my way and I pull then I take a purple one and I go through the middle of those three whites that I have here or the one that is sticking out the most again pull three white beads go here in the one, two, three white counting from the center. Again, I need five white beads. Skip the center one and go through the following. Three white beads. Go in the middle white one. A purple again middle white three white uh, go in this one that is next to the one that is sticking out the most five white beads Skip the central and go through the following. Three white. Go here in this one. One purple. Go here in this one that is sticking out. Okay, and I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and see what I do in the first part and repeat it until the end. But it's basically three white, five white, three white, one purple. And I'll finish this and I'll meet you here. Okay, and I'm here guys, almost until the end. Here I'm adding my last purple bead and what I need to add are three more white beads and I'm adding them here in the same place through the third white counting from the center. Don't make the mistake to go and add them here or in the upper beads. Okay, and now in my next step, I'm going through these two white beads. 
and what I need to add is a white bead, three purple beads and a white bead and I'm skipping here the center and I'm also going through all of those beads exiting here out of the, the middle of those three beads, three white beads that I added in my previous step and here I take a white, a purple and a white and I go in the middle of the next three whites and I pull. Then I want to reach here next to the one that is sticking out the most go through these two whites as well and I take a white triple purples and a white skip the central one and go through the following then go through all of those beads in this direction And I want to reach the middle one of those three beads that I have here. I take a white, a purple and a white. And I go here in the middle one again. And through some beads in this direction, through as many beads as I can in one movement. Okay, and I want to exit next to the one that is sticking out the most. Okay, and I have these uh, five beads, a white, three purples and a white. Skip the one that's sticking out the most and go through some beads in this direction. Okay, then what I need is to go through two beads exiting out of the middle one of those three. And I take a white, a purple and a white and go here in the middle one again. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video, see these steps and repeat them and meet me here. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last white, purple, white. And I'm going in this white bead that I have here. Then I take these four purple beads and I go here in this last white bead. This is what I have now. Now what I'm going to do is go through this purple, skip the one that's on my way and then go through the next purple and through the white after that. And I'm pulling. Okay, and I have four beads. And I go here in the middle of those three whites that I see here in a row. The middle one. Okay. Then what I do is that I go through the white, purple, white. In fact, you need to go also through the white after that. And I need four purple beads. Go here in the white and in the next purple. Skip the central one. And go through the purple and through the white. Four purple go here in the middle of those three whites that I see here before the purple one then I go through the purple white and two whites after that white purple and two whites and I take four purple beads and I go here in the white and in the next purple Skip the one that's on my way and go through the purple and through the white after that. Again, four. 
go here in this white bead and I will continue guys this one absolutely the same way adding four beads everywhere and forming angles and when I'm ready I'll be back here to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last four purple beads from this row again I go here through the middle white bead and through some beads in this direction now I have this in my next step I want to go through the white and through the following two purple beads okay just like this and here I want to farm form an angle and straighten the, the edge of my work so as I went through these two purple beads I'm skipping the one that's on my way like this I'm helping this bead to go out a little bit and pulling and now you see I have this beautiful angle now go again through all of those beads in this direction okay now uh, this row will be all about making angles and straightening up the work strengthening the work okay so I'm exiting out of the first purple skipping the one that's on my way and I'm going through the next several beads and when I pull it pops out you see this is the wanted effect then I will show you two more times at the next petal I'm going through some beads in this direction then I go through these two purple beads when I'm climbing I'm going first through two purples and I'm skipping the one that's on my way to make it pop out okay like this then I go through all of those beads in this direction okay so I'm going through one skipping the next when I go down, uh, down I go through one and skip the next one okay so this is what you need to do until the end you should make these beads pop out from everywhere and I'll meet you again okay guys and here I am where I'm forming my last angle from this row you see this one now what I want to do is go through all of those beads and reach the top of my next petal now I need a white bead an earring finding and a white bead and as I'm exiting from the top here I go back in circle through this top and fix my earring finding like this now what I want to do is to reinforce this joint okay now I will go through some beads and find a place to make a knot and cut my thread okay let's say I'm making it here at the angle I'm making here a loop I'm going once then I'm going second time through this loop I've made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread 
Okay guys, and now my colorful Hicho style seed beads earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. In this way you will be notified when I make new tutorials and you will be inspired often. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.